was the son of a pizza man The only boy who could ever feed me Hey guys, welcome to Son of a Pizza Man. I'm Enzo. And I'm Davey. Uh, and today we're talking about Hawaiian pizza, also known as ham and pineapple pizza. Dun dun dun! Before we begin, uh, don't forget to subscribe to the video or the channel right there. Just hit the button, yeah. And uh, hit that notification bell so you're notified when I upload new videos. Okay, so we're, today we're talking about Hawaiian pizza, which is a very hot button topic for a lot of people. I'm not sure why it's hand pineapple. I know it's super polarizing to certain people. Why is it polarizing? I don't know. I think it's the sweet. Like pineapples are super sweet. Is it? Are people think, still talking about it? I, it comes up in the in the pizza world here here it's and again. Really dumb. So um, yeah, I thought. I don't know if I've actually had a Hawaiian pizza, honestly, and um, I thought it might be fun to put a little twist on it and do spam. So oh. we, we did half, half spam, half ham, pineapple pizza. So I've never had spam either. Bing, bing, bing. So this is gonna be a whole, whole new experience for me. Uh, before we get into it though, a few fun facts. Oh, uh, spam Please. or Hawaiian pizza in general. Hit me with Hawaiian uh, pizza. They really like it in Australia, apparently, for some reason. Uh, fun, few fun facts about spam. Spam has been around since 1937. Uh, it, they invented it for World War II yep. because it kept very well. And uh, yeah, spam is also one of those things where you automatically go, it'll gross. <laughs> The reason, something that's funny is it being like why Spam and the Hawaiian pizza is like a good combo is because mm -hmm. it is a, it is big in Hawaii to have Spam and Poi together mm -hmm. um, because there's a lot of this talk about how the Poi reacts with the Spam in this really specific way. And it's a really, it's a good example of like, you know, it's kind of like, I don't know, Hawaiian people being like, yeah, the Hawaiian population being like, yeah, we're going to take this thing and we're gonna make it even better. Mm -hmm. Blow that up. Mm -hmm. Bam! <laughs> I think it's time to cut to the footage, huh? Uh-huh. So there you have it. That's how I made it. Very uh -huh. simple. <laughs> it's basically assembling a pizza. Uh, but I did use a different pizza dough this time. I used pizza dough from the United States of Pizza. Uh, I actually uh, Instagram lived me making the pizza. So you should follow me on Instagram if you're not because I do post that kind of stuff that doesn't really need to be in the, in the actual video because it's just dough. Dough is pretty much the same. Yeah, pretty but, much. I mean, for the yeah. most part, the, the 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 quantities or like the whatever proportions the proportions of ingredients may may vary, but for the yeah. most part, it's dough. But anyway, I'm excited to, to try this dough and see how it turns out. But we'll let you know. So let's just um, get into it. So we have our ham and spam. So okay. let's let's try the ham first because right. I feel like ham and pineapple is probably gonna be pretty pretty safe. So okay, cheers. Pretty good. 
It's it's not bad actually. No. Um, for a pineapple, for what pineapple is, you have like another bite. Well, I actually really like the crust. Yeah, the crust is really good. I'm I'm, I'm impressed with the crust. So with the crust, I had a little snafu. I added too much water initially, so I had to double the recipe, which is fine. We have extra dough now, but. Um, yeah, it turned, it, I, I'm, I actually really like those a lot. Yeah, it's a good pizza. Yeah. Um, it's not super sweet. I mean, it obviously depends on how much pineapple you put on your pizza. I got the crushed pineapple because I thought it would spread a lot more evenly. I see. Uh, so. I think that does make a difference because I have, now I'm thinking about it, I feel like I have had it. And I think that like a lot of people are mad about the idea of biting into these chunks of pineapple. Mm -hmm. That's like a thing people get really grumpy about. I remember when I'm working for my dad, we had, there, there was a rare, there were a few rare occasions where people would order ham and pineapple. Ham and pineapple pizza. And I think we used rings. So he would take like these huge pineapple rings and just kind of like break them apart and just like slap them on the pizza and then. Putting pineapple rings on a pizza, just like putting them on there. Yeah. Would make such a really cool looking pizza though. I guess. But it would look rad. And if it got scorched a little on the top. Yeah. But this is more, this is more, like using crushed pineapples I think is more practical. Well, I know that's how you roll, baby. That's how I roll. Uh, okay, let's try the Spam pizza. Oh boy, here we go. It's got, it's got a hammy taste for sure. Yeah, I don't like it. Um. It's, it's like a, it's like funky. Is it? Something like I mean there's I don't I have a lot of pineapple on my piece, so it's kind of it's a little I do too. I do too. I think you went heavier on the pineapple on this one. Um It's not bad. I mean it's like I said it's got a heavy taste. Um I don't know, I, I didn't do anything with the Spam also. I think if I may, had maybe cooked it, maybe caramelized it a little bit before I put it on the pizza, that may have helped a little bit with the flavor. Cause right now it's just kind of like, um, just like deli ham flavor. Um, I expected it to be a lot saltier, honestly. Yeah, it's not very salty. It's not terribly salty. It's a pretty mild taste. I mean, like the ham ham is also in itself like a pretty mild taste. It's not, it it's not. on a variety of ham. I mean, but again, if you brown it or you like you do put like a, you did get like that caramelization on there. It does have like a deeper flavor, I think, to it. Um, but so, so overall, I think I prefer the ham and pineapple pizza versus uh -huh. the spam and pineapple pizza, just because spam is weird. And I don't know that I can. Uh, maybe if I had it prepared differently, or like I said, if I if I cooked it before I put it on the pizza, maybe it'd have a, a different taste. Yeah, so there you have it. There you have it. Ham and pineapple pizza. Meh. <laughs> Do you have strong opinions either way, folks? Yeah, if you've had pineapple pizza, ham and pineapple pizza, I'd love to know what you think. If, if you've you had spam pizza. Or spam pizza, if you hate it or love it, you know what to do. Comment below. And uh, yeah, let me know. I also want to do a quick shout out to Slice for sending me this Cute t-shirt, huh? We are pizza. And then, ooh. So if you wanna send me a shirt, pizza shirt, I'll yeah. gladly accept your pizza shirts and I will wear it and I will shout you out. You know, you really do love a printed shirt. I do love printed shirts. God bless. I have about four or five pizza shirts now, I think. Maybe six. Do you even count this pizza thing that I got you behind you? No, because I don't fit into it. About two or three weeks ago, I had asked you guys for suggestions on what you wanted to see me make on this channel. And I got a ton of suggestions. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Uh, I really want this channel to be user driven. I want you guys to kind of tell me what to make next. So I thought it'd be a fun idea to pick the next pizza with a pizza wheel. Pizza wheel. All right. So, so what we're going to do is we made this 
This pizza wheel. Made this pizza wheel. Look at this thing. Look at this thing, guys. So there are eight slices on this pizza, and we have eight corresponding envelopes with suggestions in them. So I went ahead and picked eight random suggestions, and so we're gonna pick, we're gonna spin the wheel, and whatever number it lands on is what we're going to make next time. So, you ready? Mm-hmm. Spin that thing. Need some, some wheel music. <laughs> Numero dos. Oh. So, let's see. Put this thing away. Yeah. Okay. Number two. So, let's see what the suggestion is. Ooh, Eggs, Eggs Benedict, Benedict pizza. pizza. Okay. Right. Who made that suggestion? I believe that was, hmm, Steph Coleman. Hey! New mommy Steph. Hi! So Hi, mommy! So next time we're going to make um, Eggs Benedict pizza. Gonna figure out how that's gonna work. Sounds delicious. Mm -hmm. So thank you guys for watching. As always, if you haven't and you'd like to be, please remember to subscribe right here and uh, hit the notification bell so you're notified when I upload new videos. Also, hit me up and follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. And I think that's it. So, yes, so. thanks guys for watching. Wait, did I say that? I said that. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, all right. It, it bears repeating. Ciao for now. Smell you later. Was the son of a pizza man? Yes, he was. He was. Ooh, yes, he was.